ready. The wheels and tires are dropped off for the BRZ. We are going to go ahead and head back to the garage and work on the BRZ's GT spoiler today. So it should be pretty fun. Let's go ahead and head straight there. All right, you guys already know I had to throw on the Suma shirt. I guess we open this first and then you, what, you brought all the wing stands over here. Sweet. Okay, look at that. Full deck, give it a little uh, test float mock-up. I don't think it would, Jesus I'm pretty sure it would be back here. It's a GT wing and swan neck. Oh. Yeah, stupid. It's copying Porsche for me. Copy? Here's the rundown of the GT wing. Excuse all my holes, we're getting this fixed soon. They gave us 13 washers, which is cool, one extra washer. Uh, these long bolts, medium bolts, and small bolts. We're gonna go ahead and put this wing together. After a dummy long time of experimenting, we came to the conclusion that the longest bolt is what ended up being what you use for the swan neck to stand and then you use a nut on the other end. We'll fully tighten it once it's all set up, but the longest bolt is what you use for this. It would appear the medium ones, which there's a- Because there's two different sizes. Yeah, there's like there's like two like semi-medium and then two like medium. This is so hard to explain. You would need the longer like, longer medium bolt for this one and then yeah. the smaller medium bolt for this side. Yeah, we're, we're really we bad think. at naming this. We we're, we're figuring this out as we go. Sometimes you just gotta drill some holes and hope for the best. We gotta make these holes bigger. Then we might have a chance of getting a good flush in. A vacuum would be nice. Get all these metal shards out, you know? But I think we did it, guys. What the f***? What? Anything else? Damn, bro. <laughs> we haven't been vlogging, but it's been a hot minute because we ran into a lot of problems and Tomas keeps hurting himself. So, you good, bro? You hit the quarter of your head on the damn thing. Oh, damn. Well, we gotta get insurance up in this garage. No, bro. literally, bro. Like, the <laughs> drill hit me in the mouth. Bro. I stabbed my finger on the metal. The wing is on the car. <laughs> I have to say it looks much better in person than on camera. Every time I saw this wing and pictures and stuff, I always thought it looked iffy. But we can go ahead and pull it out, take a better look at it in the sun. I'm tired of being in that garage. I definitely think it needs the uh, the duck tail. Oh wow, yeah, with the duck bill. Man, that looks crazy. That was quite the install, boys. So it ended up being um, the small ones for the base, the big ones for this, and the me the medium ones for these yeah, ones. Yeah, and, and the, like the longer medium one for this first one, and the shorter medium one for the second one. Yep. But we had to use some extra washers under the trunk here to make sure this was flush. And man, this wing is dummy sturdy. <laughs> this ain't going nowhere. And when you yeah. flex it, it like flexes the whole trunk. So. Yeah, if it comes off, the whole trunk's coming off, not yeah. just the... <laughs> Dude, that looks insane. For real. I like that. That's a lot more character to the BRZ. I don't believe I've talked about it yet, but the reason we are getting a drift setup put together for the BRZ is because we are also going to be swinging the BRZ this Saturday at That Dude in Blue's Drift event. Um, we're going to be swinging a little bit, nothing too crazy, just enough to get some good promotional pictures and footage um, and for me to get a little bit more fun with my car. So yeah, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys want to see this BRZ get swung a little bit, we are going to be swinging it this Saturday. That video should be out next Sunday when you guys are seeing this one. Um, so yeah, Wing did really good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and load up the, the spare set of drift rims and tires. And then um, I'm just going to cut to Justin so that this video isn't boringly long. Because we really need to get this wrap fixed so that we can put the duckbill over those holes and have a perfect looking setup. As if this doesn't look good already. So let's go. Don't forget guys, we are giving away the set that's actually on my car currently once we hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we are going to be taking these off once our secret new wheel setup comes. 
and uh, we will be giving this away to one of you guys. So that'll be super cool. But uh, let me go ahead and help Tomas fill his car up with these wheels and uh, head to Justin's. Look at this shit, boys. Justin just finished wrapping this Supra. How fast was that? Oh yeah, is that a Supra? It is. Bro, it took you like two, three days to do this. Uh, five days. Five days? I just saw this car and it was not satin red. That's beautiful. And the way you did this cut here too? Yeah. I like that. Look at that wing. I love it actually. Dude, that looks crazy. Yeah, I know. It looks a lot better with a duck tail, but you see I messed that up. That looks crazy. For people wondering that if this damages the paint, no it doesn't. Look at this gloss black back from earlier this year. Yeah. Looks like nothing ever happened. Quite impressive. Come on, Justin, bend over. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Fine, I'll air up. Look who's here, Anthony. <laughs> Did you see the wing? Yeah, I saw that. It looks fun. Big ass Is wing. Is Justin, Justin, a wrap gonna be on it? No, not this one. Oh boy. Oh, like, I thought the, the red on it was better, but. Oh, the previous. Fuck. I think it's I think it's fine. <laughs> it's set. If anything, I'll catch it whenever it falls off. It's down. Have your window open? No, literally. It looks really good. It matches it. I think what we need now is more carbon accents. Justin's hinting at something. <laughs> the roof. <laughs> what do y'all think that Swan Neck GT wing with that STI style ducktail? Carbon on carbon. That looks good. Alrighty, and that is the wing. It is a few days later and I am recording on my GoPro because yesterday was the That Dude in Blue Drift event and it was freaking awesome. A lot of things happened, some bad things, like the fact that we don't have the 350Z right now because of something that happened. But I wanted to film an outro for this video for the wing. Can't stop looking at the car now. Sumer Performance freaking killed it on the wings. The quality is super high quality. The wing stands are super high quality. Even the duck bill is super high quality. And the way they have them mounted is perfect. I wanna give a huge, huge shout out to Sumer Performance for supporting the channel and helping us out with parts like this. And don't forget the wide angle side mirrors. They make some really great products that I freaking love. And they have some really good detailing products that I'm gonna make some videos on here soon. Uh, that especially work really well for the carbon fiber parts. So huge shout out to Eddie and the Sumer Performance team. I couldn't be happier to have them as one of the supporters of the channel. It's been a freaking amazing journey working with companies like Sumer Performance to get this build done. And I can't wait to just keep moving. This whole experience has been unreal to have a car that looks like this while working with companies and growing the way I've always dreamed of. So I'm super grateful for you guys for making this possible. Stuff like this, I couldn't do it without all of you. So if you guys are interested in products like this, be sure to check out the link in my description for these products. Other than that, the next video you guys will see will be next Wednesday, which is going to be the low glow install on the car because I am changing my posting schedule from Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday to just Wednesday and Sunday. Uh, this way, my audience can keep up with my content. I feel like when I post Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, people aren't able to keep up with all the content because everybody has busy lives as well. I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I lose track of a, of a content creator, I usually stop watching their content because I'm not able to follow and keep up to date with what they're doing. But changing my posting schedule from Wednesday to Sunday should allow me to make better videos and give you guys time to keep up with the content. Uh, so yeah, really love the way the wing came out. You know, in all the pictures I've seen of this wing, it made me super nervous as to how it was gonna look because it looks super tall in pictures, um, super weird. And then I always felt like the wing stands were too centered, but in real life, this wing comes to life and it looks freaking perfect. I love the way this looks along with the STI duckbill. I'm so glad I ended up staying with the STI duckbill over the GR one, like a lot of people were saying to do. If this was the GR duckbill, I feel like it would take up too much room here away from the wing, but because it's the STI, it's like half the size of the GR, 
and then you have the wing and I feel like it just flows perfectly together with that carbon on carbon. So a duckbill and wing is one of my favorite combos. I don't know how many people like that, but I don't think I would have liked this GT wing without this duckbill because the wing would look a little too tall for my taste at least. So super happy with how it turned out. Um, you would think I would want to go home and sleep some more, but I'm going to go home and edit this whole video for you guys so I can have this up today. But that is all I have for you guys today on the BRZ. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to never stop dreaming.